What is up there SEO pros? Welcome back. Sorry for the delay. I said that I would be doing this stream earlier, but I wound up uh, trying to figure out why there was such a large audio delay on OBS. Either way, we're back for SEO for Affiliate Site Part 9. So I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't gone live in a while because I've been super busy and I'm really excited to be able to go live again because most of my content has been going into the SEO courses I've been doing, which if you haven't checked out the SEO courses, you can always just head to chasefinder.com, check out what we got going on over there, and uh, you can see like the local SEO courses, the most recent course I've been doing. And uh, some other benefits, if you want to head over to Discord, uh, which is actually going to be in the link of the description, you can join the live chat with everybody. This person apparently didn't even know I was a YouTuber. Live now, and I can show you how this works. So uh, it's pretty cool. We can actually talk live with people uh, on Discord, sort of like a Facebook group, except you can see, like I said, it's like a live chat. Um, oops, I need to change the title of this video. Uh, let's go and change this to SEO for Affiliates Part 9. And, uh, and you can also join these public rooms and start talking. Uh, I don't have this enabled, but then people could come and join in here and start talking with me um, on voice chat. Also, if you're not in the Facebook group, we got a cool Facebook group with like, I don't know, 80, wait, no, we just had 80 new members, 5,000 members in it almost already. And uh, you can do, you can get there too by just going to the link in the description. I will leave. And I think that's all of the notifications for now. Uh, Oh yeah, the only other thing I would say is that if you haven't already, I would press the little subscribe button next to the YouTube channel and press the bell so you can get notified when we do live streams like this. So um, we're just gonna go right into the affiliate site. Let's just start uh, getting into it. So the affiliate sites we were working with was before was Our Sleep Guide and then this other site called Insurantly. Now, I had to stop doing the SEO for the uh, insurance site because of how competitive insurance is and the fact that once I started ranking one post, another post got outranked by a competitor. And uh, the biggest problem there is that, you know, these people have unlimited budgets. So uh, we're having a lot of hard times uh, trying to get that, you know, uh, uh, ranking, like, you know, getting everything ranking uh, that we would like to with just a one man team like me and, you know, only like 20 hours or 15 hours a month to be putting into that. Um, so let me just pop out this live chat. If you guys want to press the number one, if you are feeling good on a Wednesday, I know it is the hump day, so might not get as many people here, but that's okay. So I'm just going to bring this over here so I can see the live chat if you guys do decide to start talking. Bring this over here. And then let me just quickly get the link to for the Facebook group so we can uh, go ahead and notify them as well that we are live. And another cool thing that I did set up, and I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. I think I was showing this in my Hangout. But I set up push notification with, uh, notifications with this thing called Push Crew. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works right now. So let me just uh, put this here. Head over to here. And let's also tag the, net, uh, the uh, group, White Hat. I'm getting some lag. Why isn't my group showing up? There it is. Um, and then we'll just put that there. It might be the same OG data. No, there we go. Cool. Um, all right. So uh, if we go over to Push Crew, you can see here we got 27 subscribers. And the way I got these, I'll tell you, uh, and what's up, Mark and Top Networkers group, um, is I, I held a competition or a, a free giveaway, which is actually still going. Um, but you, if you head to my most previous video, you can enter the giveaway for the local SEO course. But one of the things I made on here was, uh, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, in order to enter, you can actually, to get a ticket, what you can do is you can actually uh, subscribe to the push notifications. And all you have to do for that is just go to the site, my site, and it'll notify you. And what's cool about this is if you press yes to the notifications, it doesn't show up for me because I already pressed yes. And then I go over to here now I can notify everybody right now that we are live. So I'll show you how this looks. So we'll press send push notification. We already have the link. Um, and I'll just say we're Chase is live now. Come join. 
And the cool thing about this is this like shows up on the desktop where that doesn't really happen for anything else. So just say, come join the live stream on YouTube with Chase now. Uh, before it's too late. <laughs> we'll just do that. Somebody's calling me. I don't have time for this. All right. So we'll go here. I'll just put some random picture of, I don't know, this. And you can segment out your subscribers. You can change the notification time. And then we got to put a URL. There it is. And I'll show you. This is going to show up on my uh, screen as well. You ready? So I'll press send notification. Press send. And there it is. Chase is live now. And then if they press on it, boom. Hey, uh, screen as well. You ready? There it goes. And that's probably going to, we could watch it right now and see how many more people join. But, uh, well, looks like we're at 15, which is pretty cool. Um, either way, let's get into it. So uh, we do have some good reporting on the sleep guide. So if you guys have been following the rest of the affiliate series, you will know that we were doing a bunch of on-page SEO. And I will show you the report that I made for them. Let me just go into my email so you can see this over here. I should do a video on how I do my reporting, like an updated video, because I did one before, but it wasn't updated yet. It hasn't been updated yet. Um, so here it is. And you can see here, uh, we went from, uh, what is it? 1,800 clicks through Search Console last month to uh, 3,700 this month, and 60,000 total impressions to 80,000. So that's pretty good. And then we made a, a top 10 list for next month. So let me just copy that. So if you guys want to see exactly how these analytics increase like this, like what I did for the on page, and I did, just did a lot of uh, click through rates, op optimizations and stuff like that. You can just follow the affiliate series and you will be able to see exactly what I did step by step in order to make that happen. Um, so let me just open up the text editor and save this audit that I did recently and open up a new page. And what we'll do is we'll just keep that so we can know what to do starting this month because we haven't done anything yet, right? Um, like I said, I have been very busy with the courses and I'm excited that I can now do a little bit of live streaming and you know start working on this stuff because ultimately at some point I would like to be able to just only do free tutorials, but the reason why I do the courses is because it's how I can actually make enough money to be able to keep doing uh, you know, what I love. But eventually at some point when I am making enough money, I would love to just only do free stuff. Um, okay, cool. So uh, we can see here finished content upgrades is one of the things that we want to do. Um, we're just going to overview this and then we're going to choose which one we want to do first. Another thing is to continue the on-page SEO, the click-through rate optimization, the conversion rate optimization. That's ongoing, right? Oh, I must have misspelled that. I apologize. Uh, optimization. Z-A-Asian. <laughs> uh, five start new content launch, preferably get interviews with Crystal. So we, we actually already have this going. Um, the outreach is continuous, so that's good. Uh, and you probably know what I'm talking about if you were following the previous series um, because we were doing a lot of outreach through Pitchbox and we actually just got Ninja Outreach, a sponsored account for free. So we probably will be using that more in the future. Number seven, finish Google My Business Setup, which I'm still waiting on Crystal. I think waiting on Crystal should email about this. Uh, get emails from Crystal to get Facebook group going, start link outreach for sleep tips posts, and start review markup on posts, which is this is going to be a big uh, part of what we're going to be spending a lot of our time on this month. So for the content upgrades for the checklist, this is pretty easy. We just have to take like one post and make it downloadable. Um, but we don't know if Crystal is going to be okay or not with the checklist for instance like or like the PDF download of our sleep tips because I don't know if people are interested in that but we can a B test that stuff um, ideally we want to have checklists for like everything that's getting a lot of traffic so let's just look into that and before I do that let me see what Mark's saying I'd like your insight on how to not over optimize um, well there's a couple things you can do you can use SEO profile and you can use cognitive SEO um, both of those are great tools to kind of check that stuff push crew looks interesting it's super overpowered and it's super sick. So I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's go into analytics. Whoops, sorry. 
And we're going to go over to, and don't mind this, I just did a redesign, so that's why it says zero traffic to Chase Trainer. Uh, we forgot to install the analytics, which I actually need to do probably right after this. But um, let's go over to our other account. And let's go and click on here and go to our sleep guide. Oops. All right, we're gonna go acquisition, all traffic, source, medium, and let's just check this really quick for the last, uh, you know, whatever days, just to see how it's going. All right, looks like it's still growing, looks good. Let's go Google organic. Looks good, and just to let you guys know, when these people first started, when I first started working on these people on this site, they were at like two visits a day off of Google, and now they're at like 200, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I have other videos as well showing like what I did from like when they were like first started till now. Uh, so if you guys wanna watch those, there's in one of the playlists, I think. I actually think that they just started the CPC, which I'm not actually aware of, so I would be interested to see what they're doing here. Um, all we have to do for that is just go to our landing pages and filter by the paid traffic. So let's go do that, site content, all pages. And let's go to the all user segment and go to paid. So we'll take that out and go to paid traffic. In home, hello earthlings, what's up man? Or woman. Um, for some reason, paid traffic didn't show any segments. I don't know why. Pretty odd. Uh, well, either way, I want to ask her why I don't know anything about this paid stuff because it would be interesting to see if they're getting collecting emails at least uh, because we do want to be setting up a Facebook group uh, to control traffic in other areas. So let me, let me just go text edit. Um, let's just start taking notes. And I usually take these notes in Google Drive so I don't lose them. So let me go do that. So there we go, let's go to our sleep guide. I'm trying to find it. There we go, sleep guide notes. All right. So I wouldn't, I wanna enable, enable push notifications for one push crew um, what was the other one that we wanted to do let me go back to the text editor I'll just put everything here so I remember questions for October uh, can we Enable push notifications. The next one would be, uh, can we check in on Google My Business? Um, and then the other one was, uh, what are you doing for paid? I think we can use SEMrush's uh, free tool to see what they're actually bidding on for paid, which would be somewhat okay if we just could get that information, SEMrush. Uh, I am, man, just for some clarification on exactly what are we going over. So right now we're just going over a client that we've been working on in the past uh, like eight videos. And what we're looking at is uh, what we can do to improve this next month. We've been working on their stuff for a while. What is this spider? Tell your friends Halloween, <laughs> Semrish Halloween monsters. What? I'm so confused. Um, so let's go to paid traffic if I can find it. And if you guys want to know what happened with this dip right here, um, obviously they're getting more traffic than 69. We know that because we looked at their search console, but, um, if you go in here, you can see this is, uh, this is where they actually did the redesign on their site. Um, so because of the redesign, they've completely switched themes. It did have a small drop in traffic, but we are recovering from that. Um, let me go back to paid. I can't figure out where it is. 
I never use SEMrush, so I don't I don't know. Advertising research, sorry, there it is. Gratis says, why not check paid traffic in Google Analytics? Well, we're not gonna be able to see what they're actually bidding on in Google Analytics is the problem. And I did, I filtered out by segment of uh, paid and it wasn't showing me the landing pages, which is odd. So you can see pillow top mattress they're bidding on. Oh, and they're just pointing it to the homepage. So this is a problem. We wanna actually have landing pages for these things they're bidding on. So uh, let's make sure we leave a note for that because that's gonna be a lot of help. If they are willing to start spending money on this, then we should really create landing pages in my opinion. Uh, so I'm trying to find the notes that I just had. Did I, did I get out of there? I must have just deleted them. Here, let's go back drive. And let's look good. So, uh, should really create landing, optimized landing pages or ad campaigns. Cool. Um, let's get out of there. Okay, so let's now, um, okay, so there's a couple things we can do. But one of the biggest things is, we, yeah, we wanna go look at the traffic. So let's go back in analytics. Let's look at the top traffic pages and we can filter by like maybe the last two months just so we can get a better average data I'm home's lost. What are you lost about? Um, so you can see mattress puffy mattress review. Um, and so all of these are different reviews. Like if we go into this here, wish I could keep up, but I've always been the slow one in the group. Just tell me what you're lost about and I'll help you. Um, so if we go into here, you can see like this is a mattress review. And then of course, you know, they, point to this and they get a, the people can get a coupon. But what we could also do in there, whoops, go back. What we can also do in here is we can actually, uh, gosh darn it. I don't know where these pages keep going. There it is. We can actually do like a content upgrade where it says something around, uh, get the, get the checklist, get the, you know, mattress checklist or something um the only problem is is that we don't really have that right now we don't really have a mattress checklist uh but we could download something like this best mattresses 2017 or mattress comparison tool we really just want to give something away for free we could also combine all of our mattress coupons into one post let me see this so I'm actually probably gonna wanna work in tandem with them and ask if they could provide me with a checklist because I don't know if I can put together something that, you know, they're the ones who are creating all the content. So I'm gonna ask them, uh, can we get a checklist post on, uh, let's say, let's see like, uh, what would it be around again? It was like top mattresses or what would something be? What would they be interested in? Let's go back here. <laughs> Damn it, I'm home. Uh, I'm just trying to think like what a good checklist would be. I think she already said that she would be putting together a checklist on what target audience would be interested in. Formation yoga, what's up? Okay, so we know that we can't do much about the, the checklist like right now because we don't have anything to give away, but we can set that up once that's going. We can set up the click funnel pages once those are going. Uh, we could also start setting up the reviews, which we should probably do. I was doing that on my site but I think those are actually gone now. Let's see, since we, we switched out that we switched from WordPress. So let's go over here. Let's go to here. Let's go to the WordPress one. I think this was the one we had reviews on. Let's see. 
Yeah, so I think that's out. But we could still figure out a way to get that in there if we wanted to. Um, but either way, I'm going to try it for this because when we did have it going, uh, we, were, we were actually getting the reviews in the search results without any problems. So for that, let's go to plugins, add new. And I think I left a note of where I found this. It was here. So all I have to do is just scan this theme again so I can get it. How checklist for how to buy a mattress. Yeah, that would be something good. I mean, ideally they know what their audience wants really anyway. So I'll just make that as a note though, perhaps something around checklist to buy a mattress. Um, I'm also going to say that we should set up text to sign up in YouTube videos because they are doing YouTube videos. Um, one of the other things that I forgot that we need to do in here is we need to actually uh, launch the post that we made. We made like a slideshow post that we wanted to add it music to and see if it would work as like something that would drive traffic. So we might actually do that in this uh, video. Uh, tasks for October. Theme scanner. Not, wait, not sure why the theme scanner is not showing up. Maybe it's like bad hosting. Probably. All right, put that in there. Really, we just want the plug in from here. I have no idea why this isn't going. Let's see if I can just find it. Oops. WP product review light schema review. Uh, it's not any of these. I know that. Reviews plugin lets you submit reviews. I think this is it. So let's install that. Oh wait, no, that's for WooCommerce. Gosh darn it. Let's go uninstall that. WPSSO I love. Yeah. Oh, I think this was it. Was this it? Product reviews? Let's see if this was it. I don't know what this is, but let's see if they enabled the admin bar because I asked them to do that. I'm pretty sure they didn't though. They didn't. It's really annoying. So let's go to pages and let's just try to find one of these pages and see if it'll give us a review at the end of it. WPSSO doesn't over optimize because it's just OG data. Additional content, social search, let's see it's right there. Uh, accessory, blue header, custom title, no. Accessory reviews, so it still didn't show up because I guess that isn't the right plugin. So let's go ahead and go back to plugins and disable those. I'm just gonna search reviews because they have so many plugins on here. They should be deleting some of these plugins actually because it's just way too overkill. I wonder if this site's back up because we really just need to scan this one site and it'll be able to tell us. Or actually it might say it. It might actually say it in, in the link. I mean in the source code. Let me go here and see if I can grab it.
Okay, so I think it's like right here. Now let's view the page source and type in review. Or actually, sorry, overall summary. There it is. Now let's see if we can find the uh, actual plugin in here. Yeah, it's not showing. Let's see if we can. Maybe you guys know of a plugin scanner we can use. It's WP Review? Where do you see that? Oh, there it is. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back. Go to WP Review. Oh, sorry, add new. Let's put a space here. And I think it's this one. I mean, it has to be this one. Create reviews, choose from stars. Yeah, that's definitely it. Can I work for you now? I don't really have anybody working for me. I have one person, but they're local. I just do courses. I don't really do much. This is like one of my two or three clients right now. Um, after content, yes. And we'll press save. Cool. So let's go into our pages and try this out with one of our pages. So ideally, they're going to have to set these up. I need to show them how to use it because I don't. they need to put their own content in there. Unless we can use some of their content in there. I don't know. Um, but let's just take, for instance, Pella reviews, I guess. No, can we, we can't do it for, we have to do it for like an actual review, not just, uh, overall reviews, if that makes sense. Or at least I don't think, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can find the best mattress. <laughs> what theme is that? Dot com. Nice. And allow that option so we don't keep getting warnings and I don't know why this is taking so long to save there we go um, let's fix that too I hate how it keeps taking me away from that page like can I just go back Go back. This is like really frustrating how slow this is right now. Okay. So this should be fixed. I don't know why it keeps giving me these warnings. Um, because we allowed the upscale. So I'm just going to ignore it. It's not that big of a deal. Raj Deep says, you are awesome, Chase. I have learned a lot from your videos. Thanks, man. So you can see our favorite mat our seven favorite mattresses. Now, I don't know how they would word this, like for getting the review markup on here. Uh, because you can see here. Wait, let's go. I know it's in here somewhere now. If we, It's probably above Yoast. There it is. If we go here and we do like star review heading, uh, I don't know how they would assign this. Let's go see how the other people are assigning it. So let's just grab this. Uh, overall ghost. So yeah, I think it has to be individual reviews. Conclusion. Yeah. So it has to be an actual review versus like just a bunch of beds. Cause I don't know how you would review that. Um, So that being said, let's not let's not do it on entire posts unless these people are. Let's see if they have a different angle for it. Best mattress 2017. I love how they're all saying like the same stuff. So let's see if they have review markup on this post. All we have to do is just type in site colon. No review markup there. Let's just see where all the all the different 
pages that have review markup and we can just pretty much copy that into our own sort of thing. So we have it there. Spindle mattress review, addable mattress review. Yeah, so I think really the best way to do this is we only can do this for actual product reviews and uh, and not actually do it for like you know multiple things. All right, so let's do that. Let's go back. And this should really improve the click-through rates, hopefully. So let's go to pages. Let's see which specific product reviews we have. If this ever loads. So let's scroll down, see if we can find one just to test it out. And foam combination mattress, memory foam mattress. Let's see. Those are all multiple things. So I think the mattress reviews are under a different tab, as I think I recall. Posts. It might be under posts. The whole layout of this site is pretty confusing on how they have it set up. Oh, mattresses. Here we go. Here we go. So on all of these, we can leave review markup, I believe. So let's go and see which our top ones are so far. We'll just go back. So Puffy Mattress Review is the, the most important one right now. So let's go do that one first. There it is. And while we're doing this, let's actually start tracking this stuff through SEO Radar. So we actually got a sponsored account on this site called SEO Radar, which does some cool stuff. It, it shows you all the changes that you've been making. It also shows you like how your changes correlate with ranking increases and decreases. If I can remember my password for once in my life. Yes. All right. So for instance, you know, we actually don't need this site anymore, but we could actually look at it. Um, but we don't want to. Let's just go and delete these other ones. So we'll go to uh, manage, I believe, domains. Let's get what are, what are the ones we're not using anymore. Uh, it's a lot of them. We got rid of a lot of clients because uh, we were spending way too much time working on other people's sites and not enough time working on our own sites, if that makes sense. So get rid of that. Get rid of this. Might take a second. You would think that there'd be a bulk button, but I guess there's not. How do I get to be a client? Uh, well, it depends on what you would like. I'm mainly not really taking on SEO clients anymore. Um, but if you like want coaching or something, I have a schedule where you can schedule time with me and I can help teach you or take you through any help you might need. Um, okay, so let's go here and let's see what we got. So SEO radar, I'm thinking it's linked with Google Analytics. I don't know if it's linked with Google Webmaster Tools, branded keywords, Chase Reiner. And we'll just have this go to my email. I do need to set up a landing page at some point, which I might actually create another video for, uh, for like the mentoring thing, because I really do want to set that up. Uh, so you can see here, look, these are all the different things that were changed. 301 redirect detected. Um, and a lot of stuff actually happened recently because of the fact that we have a new site now. Blake says, were you also finding client work to be too much of a hassle? I know I do sometimes. Well, it's really difficult if you're not niching down, Blake, because you're spending a lot, well, at least I was spending a lot of time trying to learn all these, a bunch about all these different businesses, which is really very difficult to do. I think it made sense back when SEO was just mainly coding, but now you really have to understand a lot about people's businesses. Um, let's see if we can view uh, the keywords. So we'll press keywords. And let's look at the last, this is, uh, from here to here versus from, oh wait, we're not in November yet. Let's go back to September from there to there. Oh wait, what's the date today? 25th. So let's do that. 
25th to there versus from here to here. Press apply and go. By the way, if you guys could like this video, uh, if you could just take a second and just press the like button, it would really help me out. I'd really appreciate it. Where was I? Where did that just go? Oh yeah, it's over here. I don't know why it's not showing me any data yet. Maybe it hasn't crawled for that time period. You would think it would. 901, 925. No data available for, oh, okay, so yeah, it hasn't crawled for this month yet, I believe. But we could see from last month to this month, except I really do want to see for the uh, web design or the web redesign how that affected this. 130, 130, go. What do you think about negative SEO? Uh, I think it were, it definitely exists, and I've, I've seen it happen to a client. So here you go, you can see this is pretty cool. It shows you the click differences, the uh, impressions, the click-through rates increasing, and then you can actually see on the page analysis what was changed on that page, um, I believe. Or the different pages that show, or you're getting we're getting clicks from but I thought there was a way to actually see the pages but that's pretty cool right I mean for me I think that's pretty pretty sick um, and you don't have to track a bunch of keywords it just tracks all of them for you through search console and shows you all the improvements so it's also very good for reporting uh, if we go here we can actually see uh, where was it It shows you the biggest winners, and it shows you the total amount of clicks versus before. Uh, cl total clicks are up by 8.9%, and um, all this stuff you can get through Search Console too, but it's just pretty cool. I think it does some other stuff too as well, but we need to move on with our lives. So let's go back to Dashboard and connect our sleep guide. So we'll just press, uh, where is it? Domains, where is it? Manage domains, add domain, and you can track your, track your competitors as well, which is pretty cool because I think you can get information on them. So let's actually do that with Backlinko and see what happens. Add competitor, take Backlinko's site. We want it to have user agent SEO radar. Search console, we're not gonna of course have, we're not gonna have analytics either. So I'm wondering if we're still gonna be able to get data without that, but we'll see. So let's go add our sleep guide. All right. Let's go to, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, our sleep guide. Are they HTTPS that? I think they are. Cool. So we can connect them to, uh, what's it called? Search console now, because we have, of course, that. So let's do that. I think if we go into here and edit actions, oh, this is the same thing. Should be a way. Oh, we might have to, let's see, enable. Oh, do we have to add another account? I don't really want to go into my account settings yet because I, I don't want to like show any personal information, but I will make a note for myself to add them to analytics and stuff on uh, SEO radar. So let me just go do that. So 
sleep guide, analytics, and search console to SEO radar. Oops, all these numbers got messed up. And then we also need to get the video up from transcriptions off or slideshow made from Fiverr. Blake says, I don't know what it is about watching your live videos in the background, but it somehow makes me more productive. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I'm home says, how do you know if someone is doing that? What, tracking your site? You can probably check your logs and see who's crawling your site, I guess. But I don't think you can really prevent it unless you like block certain IP addresses, maybe. Okay, so let's go back here and let's go start our review. If I can scroll. It's like a lot of lag because of how... I've noticed that if you have a large post on WordPress, this, the post starts to lag like hell, which is really annoying. Let me scroll down here. I, don't, I literally cannot. Okay. So let's see if we can do this without needing them to put in their own information. Oh my god, this is crazy. I literally cannot scroll. It's like insane. Okay, well, I'm just going to have them do it because this is crazy to me. And it doesn't really make sense for me to do it anyways, so I'm just going to tell them. Uh, show Crystal how to use review markup. Cool. So while that's going, let's uh, let's see. Start review markup. Um, continue on page and all that stuff. That's great. We really want to go to Fiverr and see if we can make that slideshow. The reason why I know this works is because I saw somebody do this with uh, sea salt, which is pretty interesting. So, let's go to Chase Rainer. Uh, let's go to dashboard and buying, and let's see if we can find the one that we used. I think this was it. Um, I do think we need their social media logins. I don't know if we got those. So here's the PDF. Now we just need to convert that to like a video. Um, so we can also actually have this as the downloadable thing. Download the sleep guide checklist or sleeping checklist. And then of, por of course put our products in there if we wanted to. Um, let me see if I can download this. So there it is. Now, in order to make this into a slideshow, let's see if we can do this with iMovie, like with music and whatnot. We might just have to take all the different images out of here, which would be a pain. So I'm wondering if there's a way around that. We could also have somebody do a voiceover, but that probably wouldn't make sense either. Oh, did that just turn that straight? No way. Oh my god, that's so sick. Okay, cool. So we can just take this and make this into a huge video. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can... Oh, all I have to do is just go control, show speed editor, and then slow this the hell down. So... Tips for getting how to get better sleep so we actually probably want to make that one just go by fast uh, wait hold on so we'll break that up there
Sorry, I'm trying to get the spot where it transitions. It's right there. Cool. Let's just make sure. There we go. I don't know what just happened. My movie just died on me. So let's go back. Why? I don't want this. There we go. Okay. So we're going to slow this down and see if we can make this like super. Probably want to make this like 20 minutes or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how ridiculous that'll look. Okay. Tips for how to get better sleep. Amount of sleep. So that's still too fast, I think. I mean, of course, this would probably work better if somebody was actually talking about this, but since they don't want to, this is still something that we could experiment with. I'm just trying to see if we can read this within the amount of time that we're putting in here. That's still pretty fast. Also, the text is pretty small, so I don't know if you're not going to be able to see that. Although, if it's full screen, it might be okay. Let me just full screen this and see. That's actually probably fine. So, all we have to do after this is just add music to it. Okay, that went by too fast. Let's go back. And ideally we should have each of these slides kind of have like a transition, but we'd have to cut up all of them and like put transitions in each one, which would be a pain. There might be a way to have like an auto. No, there would be no way to know. Why does iMovie keep dying on me? So the next step is we need to make sure we need to set up text to sign up uh, so we can put that in here and when we do the uh, text to sign up or whatever other call to action, join the Facebook group, um, we need to just make sure we mention it in, the, in here. So we would just put this in the titles, like don't forget to sign up like this. Don't forget to sign up in description for Facebook group. Uh, Cause we wanna start, you know, being able to take that traffic. Also we could do a giveaway as well in here, but the only problem with that is if we did the giveaway we're trying to get this to rank for a while, and if you know the giveaway only happens once, then we have a problem. Unless it's like a reoccurring giveaway, but I don't even—I don't know how you would do that if you could do a reoccurring giveaway on Gleam. I'm gonna—I'm gonna make that a note in the Discord. I have all these ideas that I have, and I haven't used them yet. See if we can do reoccurring giveaway in Discord. So I'm going to ask for the checklist before I publish this video um, or finish making this video. So I'm just going to save this for now and then I will be back for the affiliate SEO part 10. Um, but overall, like I said earlier, we're making great progress. Uh, as we've seen from the analytics, they almost quadrupled from or tripled from uh, last month. So that's really cool. Before I go, Dresing says, hey, can I ask for some advice? I'm fairly new to SEO. I have a client who's trying to do drop shipping with vape products, but these are hard because you can't get a promo with Facebook or Google. I think the only thing that would help is to create a blog on his website and write about his niche. That would probably be the best, yeah. Um, maybe doing like shoulder niches as well, targeting things that are around, for instance, all, like, you know, ways to quit nicotine, and then you would use his solution as the, I mean, his product as the solution to that post, right? You should ask that question in his Facebook group. Yeah, if you ask that in the Facebook group too, you'll get a lot of feedback. Or if you ask that in the Discord channel, which like I mentioned at the beginning of this, I will be leaving the links to both of these things in here uh, in, in the, the description of this video. So once again, if you guys like these videos, please let me know by leaving a like. And also if you could be so kind and you haven't done so already, if you just Google my name and uh, you feel like giving back, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could 
uh, just Google Chase Strainer and then leave a quick review on what you think about what I what I teach. And uh, uh, you know, you could just say, hey, he, uh, you know, I've learned a lot, or or maybe I've you know I've helped you somehow. If if I have, it'd be great if you could leave a review. So either way, um, I hope to see you guys in the near future. And until next time, happy SEOing.